Hi, I'm Brian Lord, Senior Vice President here at Premier Speakers Bureau, and today I'm very excited to have uh, Jeff Colvin with us, who is the uh, Senior Editor at Large, which he just admitted to me off camera is a made-up title. Uh, <laughs> he's been, man, it he's done everything. Yep. He's been he's been everywhere and uh, and is here with us today. So Jeff, thanks for coming on. It's great to be here, Brian. Now, uh, one of the things that uh, your most popular thing to to talk on is you know sort of the state of Washington, the yeah. state of the you know the economy, what's coming up. We know that changes all the time, but sure how does. do you kind of develop your approach, or what do you bring to the table when you speak to corporations about that? Uh, a couple of things. One of the fabulous things about my job, arguably the greatest thing, is that I do get to see a whole bunch of businesses and business leaders up close and. They're in all kinds of industries all around the world. And in fact, this way I get to see what distinguishes the really good ones from the mediocre ones. And as the environment changes, what they are doing changes. And so what I'm able to bring is some insight from outside the daily lives of what most of us are working on, right? Mm -hmm. And tell them how really successful business leaders are dealing with today's challenges. So I'm always talking about what's in the news, what's happening in Washington, what's happening in the economy, mm -hmm. and then explaining how the best business leaders are responding, are competing and winning mm -hmm. in that environment. Now, one of the things that you do, obviously, in addition to uh, being a keynote speaker, we'll talk about your, your book here in a moment, but um, uh, is, is obviously you can, you can tell from the cool voice and, and the, the cool look and everything else that, that you're, you're used to being with people, you're used to being in front of people, and you do a lot of, you know, whether it's MC work or panel work, kind of describe what you do there. Well, uh, I do a lot of uh, stuff like that. You're quite right. Uh, conducting panels or interviewing people on stage. There are a lot of people, in fact, uh, generally famous people, mm -hmm. who would rather not give a speech. They'd rather be interviewed on stage by someone, and so I've often had that job. Uh, and what I do is first lots of preparation mm -hmm. to understand who the people are going to be, what the big concerns are of the audience, and my focus is on making the panel interesting and helpful. Mm -hmm. I want to give the audience something that they can take home and put to work when they get back from this conference. Mm -hmm. And so I do a lot of preparing and then really asking questions. And frankly, the key to this, everyone says it, but I'll tell you, it is absolutely true. The key is not planning your questions, although that's important. The key is listening to the answers that you get. Really listening to the answers and not then asking the next question on your list, but asking the question that arises naturally out of that answer. And man, if you can do that, everybody's <laughs> going to be happy. Now, uh, your newest book um, yes. is um, is you know the talent is overrated, which right. is which is. Not what you would think. It's not what you would think. That's and, right. And uh, That's right. one of the things you mentioned there, I was reading part of it, is that uh, a lot of uh, businesses today, or organizations today, are not set up right. to to accommodate that. Right. If you could give us just right. a little peek inside there, if you're a if you're a business leader, a business owner, um, right. you know, an executive, what could what's maybe one or two things that you could do to make your company more successful and take advantage of that? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The, it's, it's funny because the research on great performance, which is what this book is all about, is well known in certain fields like sports and music and you know flying jet planes or doing surgery. Everybody understands this. And then when we get to the office, we seem to forget all of it. <laughs> and so what people could do, and what in fact I am now seeing businesses do, now that they've read the book and some of the other literature in the field, they are preparing people for their jobs in new ways. For example, uh, sales that is one of the easiest places where you can apply these principles by putting salespeople through presentations and interviews uh, on video and with managers of the company over and over receiving constant feedback and being pushed to do something a little more or a little better every time they do it. And I have seen companies do this, and the results are 
astonishing. They're not just good. You know, they're not a 20% improvement. They're a five times improvement. It's incredible what can be done. And it's a huge opportunity for companies. Now, I've, I've booked you before, and I know you do this anyway, and on the heels of what you're talking about is yeah. you know, the continuous improvement that you're talking about. Right. You know, one of the things that we always try to do here at Premier is, is make the event planners uh, look good and make their lives right. easier. When, when you're in an event or leading up to an event, how do you do that? Well, I always want to talk to the organizers ahead of time and find out what are the issues on the minds of their group going to be when we get together. Uh, I often will speak to members of their group ahead of time, just make phone calls. Certainly if there are panelists, I want to talk with them ahead of time. And really make sure everything is well understood by me so that I am totally prepared. I have to tell you also, when it comes to making their lives easier, I'm a low maintenance speaker, okay? <laughs> I, I don't require the fifth of Jack Daniels or the bowl of green <laughs> M&Ms uh, in my room. Or, uh, you know, I, I, I like to show up and get there early and be totally prepared and man, let's go. I love doing it, as possibly you can tell. Yeah. I love doing it. And so uh, I, I really put a lot into the events. So for you event planners watching this, uh, if you'd like to learn uh, more about uh, Jeff, you can uh, click on the link under the screen here. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more interviews. So Jeff, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate you uh, coming here with us today. I'm so happy I could do it, Brian. Thank you. Thank